good to be back. I wanted to do a quick tip for um, those of you who use uh, Blender and me creating mesh for Second Life. So this is just a quick one. I have gotten um, a few questions about this issue and I've encountered it myself before so I thought this was a good opportunity to share it with everyone. So if you have uploaded your mesh into Second Life and you notice that um, I'm using this simple cube here, there is a face missing, but you know there is a face there, um, but you can't select it in Second Life, you can't see it, then you want to go back to Blender and here is the cube. As you can see, we're not seeing any invisible faces here um, using the default settings of Blender. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I think that when you first open Blender for the first time and don't customize any of the inter or sorry any of the settings, that you won't have um, what I'm about to introduce, and that is backface culling. So, so backface culling is simply means that a certain face of your object is visible or not visible because every face has a backside. The backside is what is invisible. So um, if you're seeing something invisible in Second Life, that means that you're looking at the back of the face and that's why you can't see um, what you are supposed to see. So to explain this a little bit here, um, if you go to, so we can't see this in Blender though. All the faces all look solid, but we know that this one of these faces is invisible. So to be able to check this out at the top right of your screen, where you have these settings, um, and this might be located on the bottom of your interface, however you have yours arranged. Um, and make sure that you are in solid mode. Um, there are a couple different modes here for the mesh, um, and you wanna make sure you're in solid mode, then right click the little drop down menu here and go to the bottom and turn on back face culling. And as you see now, it looks like it does in Second Life where we can see where the problem is. So if you were to go into edit and, you know, check this out, you can see that you can um, select the face. So we know the face is there, um, which is important to note because sometimes, you know, clicking, using all these hotkeys and mouse clicks, mesh might get deleted and or geometry might be deleted by accident. We don't notice. And that, that's happened to me before. So, um, before I get into how to fix this issue, I want to point out that, you know, there are these things called normals. Um, so when a face is visible, that means the normal of that face is pointing outward or in the right direction because you're able to see it. When you can't see the face, the front of the face, um, that means the normal is pointing inward, in this case, into the cube, and that is why you can't see it from the outside. So to turn on normals, I already have mine turned on. Um, at the top of your screen here in the same area, you're gonna go to this, um, to the left here, to this dropdown called Viewport Overlays. Um, and then go to the bottom and you'll see these little buttons here for normals. You're gonna make sure you click um, the last one there, uh, in this case, just to follow along with what I'm showing. and they appear as little thin lines. I don't know if you can see mine are very light blue. Um, I'll probably tr find some way to, uh, you know, highlight that on the recording later so you can see, but these lines are pointing outward on the faces that are solid because that means that those faces are pointing outward or are visible from the outside of the cube. So to, now that we know that, um, make sure to select the face, if you're in face select mode here at the top of your screen, it would be a left click for me. Um, I am on a Mac. So have your face selected, the one that you want to fix, and then at the top of your screen, go to your mesh menu, or you can use the shortcut, or you can just, you know, your menu might be on the bottom of your screen, and go down to normals, and then let me show you what flip is. Flip just fixes like whatever face you have selected or faces you have selected and it'll just, you know, point it in the opposite direction. And so in this case, it fixed the issue, and we can now see that the normal is, is pointing outward as it should be. Another way to fix it is if you have like several faces, 
that are not facing the right direction. So let me just create that situation here. I mean, it's a very complex object you have going and, you know, it's, it's hard to zoom in and, and fix each one individually. Um, sometimes another way that I check for any issues like this is I will um, hover. You can either hit A to select all of the mesh in the scene, the faces, or you can hover over your object um, and hit L, the L key, and that will hi highlight just, um, it will select just that object, the faces on that object. So then you would go back up to the top of your screen to mesh menu or wherever mesh menu is for you, go back to normals, and then you would could click recalculate outside and that fixes the issue as well. It took care of, you know, whatever multiple faces were invisible. Um, so that's just how I fix this issue. Um, you know, another good uh, reason to have normals visible, these little markers, is because it might be the case that you really did accidentally delete this face. Um, so I'm just hitting X and delete to show you that if you don't see a, a normal, um, like a line or a marker for where you think the face should be, that means that the face actually isn't there, the geometry is not there, and it might have been accidentally deleted. So it's just good to know. Um, so I hope that this makes sense, and I hope that it can help if you run into this sort of issue. Uh, but this was a quick one. If you have any questions about this or anything at all, just contact me in World or here or in email or on my website, eerie.net. And I'd love to hear from you. I always do. Um, and you will hear from me again very soon because I have another video planned. So thank you for watching.